Some recipes call for soaked nuts and seeds. Non-dairy milks and pâtés are a couple of those recipes. Soaking nuts and seeds is something that you can do in advance and it's very easy to do. You just place any nut or seed into a mason jar, filling it about halfway, and then filling the rest of the jar with water. And you let it sit on your countertop at room temperature overnight or for eight hours. And then the next morning, drain off the water, give it a rinse, and you can either use those soaked nuts or seeds in a recipe right away, or you can store them in your refrigerator for up to three days. Almond milk is a tasty non-dairy beverage made from soaked almonds and water. And it's great to use either just straight as a milk replacement, or you can pour it on cereal as well. To make almond milk, I'm going to use a blender. I'm combining almonds along with some water. And then I'm going to add some dates. These are medjool dates. They're very soft and sweet dates, and they're going to sweeten this almond milk. If you want an unsweetened milk, you could leave that out, or you could use a different natural sweetener of your choice. So I'll go ahead and add those in. You could also flavor this with some vanilla extract if you wanted to. There's a lot of variations. You can even use different nuts and seeds. Uh, Brazil nut milk is very delicious, and so is sesame milk. So now I'll go ahead and blend this. So now I want to strain it. We have this thick almond mixture and I want to extract the milk from this mixture. So I'm going to be using a mesh bag which works really well to strain nut milks. But if you don't have one of these, you can simply use a fine mesh strainer held over a bowl and pour the almond milk into that. So here we go, pouring it in here. Secure the bag. Give it a little twist so that nothing gets out. And now I'm going to milk the almonds. So I'm just squeezing this bag from the bottom and from the top. It's a lot like milking a cow. But I'm milking the almonds and out is coming this delicious creamy almond milk that is so good on its own or poured over cereal. So with almond milk, a couple of pâtés and salad dressings, a dessert, and some of your seasonings prepared in advance, you'll be set for the week. You've got smoothies and juices, both very nutritious breakfasts with fruit and greens, but let's say one morning you want something a little more hearty, a little more like comfort food, reminding you of sweet cereal. You can actually make a really delicious and easy raw granola using soaked nuts and seeds, and I'm going to show you how. You need a food processor for this recipe. It's going to give you that ground texture similar to a traditional granola. I'm going to be using a combination of soaked nuts and seeds. You can just go ahead and soak these the night before you want to have your granola, and you can soak all your nuts and seeds in one container. I'll be using almonds, sunflower seeds, and walnuts. But you could also use pumpkin seeds, you could use pecans, any nuts or seeds that you like. So I'll go ahead and add the almonds, sunflower seeds, and walnuts to the food processor. Now this is sweet cereal, so I am going to need a sweetener, and I'm going to be using some raisins. You can substitute any dried fruit that you like. You might use dried figs, you might use dates. The raisins are going to taste great. 
you've got this recipe in your study guide, but just for rule of thumb, I'm using equal parts of all the different nuts, seeds, and raisins, so it's easy to remember. Then to add a little more flavor, I'm gonna add a pinch of salt. Even in sweet dishes, a pinch of salt really brings all the flavors together. And a dash of cinnamon. That's gonna taste great. And that's it, we're ready to process. So I'm just gonna process this mixture until it resembles a granola-like consistency. Isn't this the easiest homemade cereal you could ever make? This looks delicious. You can eat this right away or you can store it in your refrigerator for up to three days. I'll just serve myself a little bit of this granola here. I'm gonna to top this granola with some fresh blueberries, but you could use any fruit that you like. I think that sliced banana would also be great, chopped up apples, even diced pineapple, diced mango. Blueberries give a really nice color though. And then remember that homemade almond milk we made, which stores in your fridge up to five days? I'm gonna pour some of that on the cereal. You can have this as a mid-afternoon snack anytime that sweet cereal craving strikes. Mm. This really hits the spot.